This is not an easy task, but making your guinea pig happy can help them live longer. Therefore, in this video we will discover 10 essential tips on how to stimulate them, reduce their stress level, and keep your guinea pigs with you for many years. Hello, my name is Daniel and I've been passionate about caring for guinea pigs for the past 3 years. At the beginning I struggle like you to understand the special care guinea pigs need. My mission is to guide you on your journey to becoming an exceptional guinea pig owner. Number 1. Your guinea pigs love hearing your voice. Did you know that talking to your guinea pigs can make them happier? Guinea pigs are social animals that enjoy interacting with humans. Even if they don't understand what you are saying, they appreciate hearing your voice. Talking to your guinea pig regularly not only helps to create a strong bond with you, but it is also beneficial for reducing your own stress level. Their calming effect helps lower stress levels. Even people with post-traumatic stress disorder like veteran and trauma survivors find comfort in their company. Remember, each guinea pig is unique in understanding their specific needs and behavior is key to successful bonding. Number 2. Guinea pig enjoy petting time and floor time. Petting time is a special moment for your guinea pigs. It allows them to build a strong bond with you. Approach this time with patience and understanding, allowing your guinea pig to gradually get used to your presence and voice. Offering treats during petting time can help create a positive association. Guinea pigs can be beneficial for children on the autism spectrum. Recent studies have found them to be particularly useful in this regard as they serve as a social buffer and also aid in learning about empathy and responsibility. Every time I take them out for petting time, they look so happy to be with me. Maybe they understand that they might get a treat after cuddling. Whenever you pet them on the floor or on your lap, prepare the space to avoid any accident. Guinea pigs relieve themselves frequently. Make sure to place them on a blanket or a towel. This will catch their droppings and make cleaning easier. Giving your guinea pigs floor time outside their cage is also beneficial for them. It allows them to explore their surroundings, stimulating their seeking skills and keeping them active. Make sure to provide their favorite blanket and a hiding spot to make them feel safe. Since they are rodent, they might be tempted to nibble on things like furniture or electrical cables. Keep the area safe for them. Remember to be careful with any other pets if they come near them. They could scare your guinea pigs, or even worse, harm them. By setting aside time for petting and letting them play and explore, you will both reduce stress and improve happiness. Number 3. Stimulate their curiosity. I wish someone had told me sooner that guinea pigs are a curious animal and that their natural seeking skills need to be stimulated. Playing hide and seek by hiding treats or their favorite veggies encourage them to explore and stay active. As animal researcher Temple Grandin recommends, nurturing their natural instinct keeps them stimulated and joyful. You can incorporate this during mealtime and playtime. Hiding small veggie pieces around their cage, on the top of their hiding spot, inside tunnels, next to the water bottle or near the haystack. They'll be thrilled to discover this hidden treasure and over time, they'll start looking forward for these fun games. Give it a try and see how much your guinea pigs enjoy the treasure hunt. Number 4. Provide safe hiding places. Guinea pigs should not be left out in the open all the time, as this can increase their stress levels and shorten their lifespan. They need hiding spots to feel safe and secure. In the wild, they burrow to avoid predators, so it's essential to provide at least one hiding place per guinea pig. This allows them to relax and reduces their stress from loud or unfamiliar noises. There is many options available on the market for them, such as wooden tunnel, plastic or wooden houses, or even a mini castle. There is also the quarter fleeces forest and the mini hammock. If you are on a budget, or you want to make a fun gift for a guinea pig owner, you can even make one using cardboard box or fabrics. Number 5. Regular grooming is essential. Before getting a guinea pig, ask yourself if you have time and energy to care for them daily. 
This includes cleaning their cage and grooming them regularly. Regular grooming keeps your guinea pig clean, comfortable and happy. This includes brushing their fur, trimming their nails and providing hay and chew toys to maintain healthy teeth. Grooming sessions also allow you to check for any signs of illness or changes in their appearance. Not all guinea pigs enjoy being brushed or having their nail trimmed. Be patient and recognize their limit. When trimming their nails, do not rush yourself to avoid injuries. One easy trick is to wrap gently your guinea pig in a blanket. You can even ask a partner to hold your guinea pig while you cut the nails. If your guinea pig struggle after one or two paws, do not worry, you can finish it another day. It's important to recognize the signs that indicate they want you to stop. After you're done, give them a treat as a reward. This will enable them to associate a positive experience with grooming time. Remember, grooming is not just about cleaning them, it's a special way to bond and show your love to your pet. Before we continue, I want to let you know that it's normal for guinea pigs to run away when you try to pet them or pick them up in their cage. This is a normal behavior and it can take weeks or even months before they feel comfortable being touched in their cage. Just like people, each guinea pig is unique and some are shyer than others. They have their own personalities so it's important to be patient and respect them. However, this doesn't mean that they don't love you. If you are an experienced guinea pig owner, let me know in the comment section how long it took you for your guinea pigs to stop running away from you. And if you like this video and want to know more about guinea pigs, click the subscribe button. Number 6. Guinea pigs need lots of space. Ever wonder what size a guinea pig cage should be? Guinea pigs need a big cage to move around and play and rest. A cramped space can lead to stress and health problems. It's recommended to have a cage that is at least 7.5 square feet for two guinea pigs. For each additional guinea pig, add about 3 square feet. For example, if you have 4 guinea pigs, you would need a cage that's about 13 square feet. With a big large cage, your guinea pig will have lots of room to explore and play. You can add accessories for them to hide and some toys to keep them active. They will love moving around and switching between their hiding spot and tunnels. Having a big enough cage also makes it easier for you to clean and helps prevent your guinea pigs from sleeping in their poop. A dirty environment can lead to respiratory infections and foot problems like bumblefoot. Depending on the number of guinea pigs and the cage size you have, you should clean the cage thoroughly once a week and spot clean it daily. After cleaning, spend some time with your guinea pigs in the playpen or on the couch watching videos together. It's a great opportunity to bound and engage in fun activities. Number 7. Don't keep them alone. Providing a life companion for your guinea pig is one of the most important things to keep them happy. Guinea pigs are herd animals and thrive in the company of their own kind. While not everyone has the space or resources for multiple guinea pigs, it's important to understand that a lonely guinea pig experiences more stress than one living in a group. Scientific labs that use guinea pigs for testing also understand that it's important to keep them in groups. In Switzerland, there is even a law that says that you have to have at least two guinea pigs at home. It's like having a best friend to play and talk to. When guinea pigs live together, they feel safer and less stressed. They will enjoy grooming and sleeping next to each other. One of them always keeps watch to protect them from predators or to wake them up when someone brings food. Number 8. Provide a balanced diet. Taking care of a guinea pig involves providing them with the proper food. A balanced diet greatly contributes to their happiness. Their daily diet should include fresh vegetables and pellets with an unlimited amount of fresh hay. Veterinarians recommend that 80% of their diet is made of hay. Occasionally you can give them small treats like fruit or enriched cookies made specially for them. It can sometimes be challenging to obtain the necessary food, especially when certain items are out of season or their price are too high. Because of the f gouge flation, inflation, shrinkflation and whatsoever flation economics reason they say. I know, I hate that too. Come on, five dollar for lettuce. But don't worry. I'll let you know how you can save money while still giving your guinea pigs the best food. 
Consider buying hay in bulk instead of small bags to save money. You can also ask your local supermarket if they have any vegetable trimmings they plan to discard. As an example, many supermarkets will discard the green parts of the fennel, celery, carrots, or even the corn husk, which are perfectly fine for guinea pigs. Just make sure to inspect and clean them properly before feeding. When it comes to guinea pig nutrition, always ask yourself, would I eat these veggies or would I serve it to my friend? If the produce is fresh and clean, it's suitable for your guinea pigs. If you want to know which vegetables are safe for your guinea pig, check out my other videos where I cover over 20 veggies excellent for them. Number 9. Know your limits and monitor their health. There is only so much we can do to keep our guinea pigs safe and happy, so it's important to understand our own limits. Make sure to schedule animal visits to a vet for regular checkups. As pre-animals, guinea pigs naturally hide signs of weakness to avoid predators. They would hide themselves when they feel sick or hurt. For example, if they are not as playful or don't eat as much, or if their poop looks different, it could mean they are not feeling well. It's important to pay attention to any changes of behavior and contact your vet if you are concerned. Regular checkup with your vet helps to detect many potential health problems when caught early. Having the advice of a professional is much better than doing nothing. Number 10. Provide enrichment toys. You want to make something to entertain your guinea pigs but you are afraid they will judge you? Guinea pigs enjoy being active and have a natural curiosity to explore new forms of entertainment. Providing them with toys can help develop their seeking skills and encourage them to get off their butt and be more active. There are a variety of toys available for guinea pigs. Make sure you don't get those spinning wheels or ball made for hamsters. Guinea pigs are more fragile with their back and can be harmed with those toys. Consider enrichment toys that stimulate their seeking skills such as treat dispensing puzzles or foraging mat where you can hide dried flowers and leaves. Climbing toys like wooden castle and bunk beds can also be enjoyable. If you are creative, you don't have to break the bank to provide them with some toys. As rodent animals, they will chew and gnaw on lots of things. It is easy to make some toys with what's available at home. Use cardboard tube filled with hay and some treats. Packaging paper can be used as well to make surprising parcel with forage mix and dried fruit. As mentioned earlier, making a cardboard house with recycled boxes is an easy and fun activity. Let me know in the comment how you make your guinea pigs happy. And if you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, please watch one of my other videos or share it with a friend who owns guinea pigs. Thank you for watching. And remember, if you made it this far, you are an awesome guinea pig owner.